Hello and welcome to Hello and welcome to Recharge Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> to plug you into the world of professional wrestling. I'm Fisher and I'm here with my co-hosts, Keeney and Krusty. Hey guys. Hello again. Fisher, a bit excited there at the start. Yeah, I got <laughs> really excited. He jumped the gun. So we're if not you sure. To the podcast you might get already. two hellos. So yeah, yeah, you might get two hellos. If you listen to the podcast already, you'll know how hyped we are about the show. So apologies uh, for my eagerness there, jumping in. Um, but we're here now for Clash at the Castle predictions, which obviously we've got our league. Feel free to join in. We'll have the matches up on our Twitter very shortly, I'm sure. By the time this pod comes out, actually, it'll probably be up. Yeah. So uh anyone's welcome to join in there's a t-shirt for the end of, at the end of the year for the winner um we will also have all out predictions this weekend as well so two big pay- pay-per-views to predict on we're not going to do nxt um world Clyde purely because free pay-per-views and predictions in one weekend is just too much we'd be spamming um, spamming the hell out of you on twitter and i'm yeah. sure all our followers are going to be about recharge wrestle that's yes. where you'll find these predictions i'm sure all out is going to have about 36 matches on the card um, plus the people got here, so yeah, you know, you know what it's like in AEW. They have a lot of matches, so NXT on top of that, just not going to happen. Um, and that is the show with Pi out of the three. So let's get to it. Over to Krusty, who's going to sort of. So lead here the we go. We're going to get some predictions on the go. We're each going to give our what we believe the result is and a quick reason for that. So we're going to start. Um, this isn't really in any particular order, but a possible prediction of what we think the order may go in. Let's start with Edge and Rey Mysterio versus the Judgment Day. And I'm going to try and mix up the order that we answer this. And to make it fair, I'm going to start. So oh, okay. I believe the Judgment Day are going to pick up the win here. And if you've listened to any of our other podcasts, the main reason I think this is going to happen is because I believe Dominic Mysterio has been left out of this match because he's going to turn heel and turn on his dad and Edge. And that is simply the reason why I think Judgment Day are going to win. I think it's going to be a good match, and I think they're going to pick up the win. And I think they also need it because they lost the last um, big match they had. I think we're going to hear from Keeney now. What do you think? So I was quite excited not knowing who's going to go next. I'm sorry, like, edge of my seat. Trying to... I nearly forgot then. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, you can have my prediction and that's it. <laughs> trying to work out. Um, well, I don't have much else to say other than what you said. I think Judgment Day will win. And I think Dominic Mysterio is going to turn here. We have seen it in the build-up. If it doesn't happen here, I'll be surprised. In my head, I'm trying to work out, is there a way where... Edge and Ray win, Dominic still turns, then maybe because I've had this happen to me in the past with predictions where I've predicted a turn. That, that almost happened to SummerSlam. Yeah, it happens after the match. Yeah, the match was Yeah, I think happened. that's actually what yeah, I'm it was sort of the opposite of. way, yeah. isn't it? Um, but here I do think Judgment Day are gonna win. I think they are the team that is being built here, not Edge and Ray. Um I would predict Ray probably takes the pinfall um as well, but that's a side point. But yeah, that's my prediction. Judgment Day to beat. Mysterio and Edge. And our remaining fish. Yeah, I'm, I know it's boring, but I've got to go for the same one here. Um, I had, oh, this is yeah. one of the ones in my head that I actually knew, knew what I was going to go for before. There's only mm. probably two matches on the card where I, I'm doing that. Um, yeah, this, I think, basically echo what both of you said. I think Dominic is going to turn. There is a possibility. I think Keeney just said, you know, is there a way that they could do it? I think there is a possibility that you could have Edge pick up the win for the team and then in the judgment day attack afterwards in the celebrations mm-hmm. and you think Dominic's going to save them but actually he helps 100% um, you could so, even play into the kendo stick with Rhea there they could yeah. come out together and beat, beat him up in so the full I think, purple gear so I don't think it's obvious for that reason even, even if we think Dominic's turning I don't think it makes the result obvious um, but I, I do think judgment day need a win here because we had edge beat priest clean on raw what two weeks ago we had yeah. summer slam we had um was the match mysterios versus judgment day wasn't it was that the match yes right yeah where edge came in so they, they've already beaten them as well so for judgment day to have the credibility to get the win i think you're right i think ray will be the one that takes the pin as well um and and that can further feud into the story of dominic and ray because dominic can be like you lost the match. Yeah, you're the weak link, not me. Yeah. yeah, you're the weak link here in this thing, not me. I, I think that would add to it even further. So 
I think that's a great, and I don't see them. I think I don't think Edge takes the pin um, either. And then you can obviously you can spin off that into Ray versus Dominic feud. You can still do Edge and Balor one on one if you wanted to to wrap up the feud because they haven't had that match yet. Um, and yeah, I think uh, Judgment Day win, and I think we're going to get a banger. And that's about it, really. So next match on the card, absolute heavy hitter. We have Gunther versus Sheamus. And I think we should go in reverse order here. So I think, Fisher, you ended. So Fair you enough. should predict first. Mm. It's a tough one. It's one I've gone for back and forth. If you listen to the podcast already, you're, um, this week's, I did say, you know, it's Sheamus's home turf, although it is kind of Gunther's in a way as well because of NXT UK. And he hasn't, the only in the Continental title is the only title they haven't won. But... They haven't played into this much on TV. So I don't think that, that is really in WWE's mind here because it, unlike the story with Drew, they haven't played that up. Um, so, and I think we need a longer run for Durling General. Um, yeah, so I think he's going to win here. Um, yeah, Gunter gets a win. We get hopefully Lashley versus Gunter at Survivor Series, which I've been calling for since both of them were won the belts. And to a cheeky extra bit to it, I, I think, you know, I mentioned it again earlier. I think we may see Pete Dunne even turn on Sheamus or something like that here. I don't think we'd need too many turns on this show. Um, so if that was one more, then, you know, don't, we don't really need any others. But um, that's a possibility. Maybe they won't do it yet. But that could play into Sheamus losing or, or they could accidentally maybe cost Sheamus the match, Butch getting a bit carried away. Um, but yeah, I think Gunter re- retains and we get more of the darling general. Sorry, I was trying to do the pose. <laughs> He's gone. disappeared during that. I did the pose, but it didn't work with my camera. Uh, yeah, fade Ghost out. general over there. Yeah. <laughs> and Keeney. Um, yeah, this, this is interesting because I think, again, if you haven't checked out our um, pod where we hyped Clash, then go back and listen to that before you listen to this because um, a lot of references back to that in this in 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 this prediction video. But um, I I think I was I kind of convinced that this is probably Sheamus's time to win. If he's going to win the IC belt, and if Gunter's going to lose it, it's probably going to happen here. Um, but that being said, I just don't think it's been. I think Fisher boy said it actually. I think it's just it doesn't been much hot you know build on Seamus winning this and I do think this their decision on this may depend on what they decide on the main event do they want Seamus and Drew to both lose their big title matches or do they want you know will they have one of them and one of them lose and if you're having Drew losing the main event would you have maybe that make, make them make Seamus win here um Really, really torn. But I'm going to have to decide right now. The f- thing from me is, I haven't thought about Stop these delay. beforehand. Come on, let's, let's get your predictions. I'm going to go for Seamus. Hey. Oh, it's to win. quite different. At Here least we go. See belt. Now, we're getting, now we're talking. Now it's interesting. I was thinking it's going to be really boring if we have the same every match. It would have been. Because we do that quite it. often on our, or like, no, I have one difference when we do it on our thing. But since we're all doing it on camera, that would have been really dull. I think I agree with what you're saying about the Drew stuff. I think if one wins, the other loses. I think to have both win or both lose is just not going to be the way. You need one big hometown pop. I agree with what you both said about the he's not been built in the way in the same way Drew has on this being as much of a big deal. Um, I also think Gunther definitely has not had a long enough reign. I think he's looked great so far. And I think it would be a real waste to drop that now. And I think if you lose the momentum with Gunther, you almost waste him. He's not got any slot to fit into the main title or anything like that. I don't think there's a spot for them in the tag division just yet. And I think it'd be a waste of him. So for that reason, I think Gunther is going to pick up the win here. I also think Sheamus doesn't lose much by losing as well. Yes, he's not going to pick up that title and get the Grand Slam. But I think you can still have an amazing moment with Sheamus putting up a massive battle, no matter how he loses, whether it's through Pete Dunne, Butch, interference from Ludwig. Um, I just think that there's a scene to be had there with him being clapped out of the arena 
because he put on such a show, put up a battle, even though he lost. So for that reason, I don't think, I still think he gets his moment without needing to win the belt. So yeah, I'm going for Gunther. Um, so next match, um, going down the card, I think we're going to get Matt Riddle versus Seth freaking Rollins, which is going to be an absolute scorcher. And I'm going to throw this one straight onto Keeney as he hasn't predicted first yet. Yeah, that's um, I just I suspect none of them. This <laughs> th- th- this one is is Probably the hardest match, tough. of course, as well. Right? Yeah, it is really tough, but I actually do have uh. Unlike the last match, I do actually have someone in mind here. We say it all the time, Seth loses a lot. Um, And I think this is a feud where he has to win. I I just can't see him lose. And I know, and maybe this is the first of a series of matches. Happens with Seth a lot. He has a series of matches with someone. They could do that with Riddle. Um, I I kind of mentioned it earlier on on the previous uh, pod video that I don't know when Orton's back or when that's going to factor in here or, or even Cody on the other side. The thing is, Seth and Riddle both have bigger feuds outside. I think we're going to see Riddle and Orton at some point. We're going to see Cody and Seth at some point. This is almost a, a really good filler, but I think it's kind of a filler to get us to that point. Um, and in my head, I can see Seth winning or going for and potentially winning the title before I can see Riddle going for it. So for me, Seth holds a bit more value here. So I have to go for Seth Rollins to win. There is a chance that Riddle wins and then we have another couple of matches and Seth wins the next couple. Who knows? But I'm going to go Seth Rollins to win. Okay, so I will predict next. This is really difficult for me. I was pretty sewn on my prediction until what you just said. But I'm going to stick by what I originally thought. Um, again, you know, it's my frustration of mine. I think the problem is that Seth has lost so much in the past when he shouldn't have. Makes this difficult. But I think Matt Riddle is going to win this match. I just think Seth has been too personal. He's won too much of the beatdowns. He's always looked, even when Matt uh, Riddle, when Riddle's got the beat down on Seth, he's never really left him lying in the ring, sort of motionless or anything like that. He's always sort of a Seth escaped or something. Seth almost got the one up here as well. I think I don't think you're wrong at all with the fact that this is going to go on. I think we're going to get another match of Survivor Series where Seth will then potentially win because then hopefully we've split the main belt, which then gives Seth direction to go on to that maybe at day one, something like that. Um, Yeah, so going for Matt Riddle to win this feud, and I think it is going to be a cracker of a match. Absolute cracker. And Fisher, what do you think? It's interesting now, because I wasn't expecting you to go for Riddle at all there. I really thought... Is that just because I love Seth? I mean, yeah, I just thought you were going to go for Seth, and I thought you'd say, oh, "Don't Seth get me wrong, I want Seth to win." But... Um, so that's you know that's interesting, but I'm not going to. It's not going to affect my decision anyway. I had in mind who I. I do think it's the hardest match to call on the card because because of what I said earlier about they haven't. Neither of them have really wrestled much recently. They've kept them from not having matches and win and and losses on TV and things like that. Um, it's very tough. But I'm going to go for Seth to win um, purely because I think Keeney's onto something with the going for the title sooner rather than later. I also think with Survivor Series coming up, maybe Rollins could like lead. If they do a Team Raw, Team SmackDown match, I think Rollins could well be like the leader of, of the team um, or, or even any Survivor Series team they do. Rollins, I think, will be involved big time in in that, whereas Riddle may not be. And I think, obviously, you've got the title picture coming. And Rollins, I think, needs a big win. And I think Triple H, obviously, he likes Riddle, but Seth Rollins is was his first ever NXT champion. He's worked in him with the authority back in the day. You know that Triple H loves Seth Rollins. He didn't have him on the card at SummerSlam which Seth tweeted about, whether it's kayfabe or real or not, I think he's going to give Seth a win here. 
Uh, I'm going to be really disappointed if I've not predicted Seth <laughs> and he wins. Yeah. <laughs> this is so uh, rare that yeah. I go against him. I was shocked. Uh, I, when Keeney said uh, Seth, I was like, okay, we're all going for Seth in this match then, so that's a bit boring. And then you went and picked Riddle, so I was like, okay, mm. maybe not. It's an interesting Fair one, enough, isn't it? Yeah. it? really is. Um, we've gone different. We've all gone different across the board now. So. It's exciting, yeah. isn't it? It's exciting. And let us know what you think. Join in with our predictions, please, on Twitter. It would be great to see. Or in the YouTube comments, you if you just want to comment under Yeah, YouTube fine. comment. Yeah, yeah. Give us, if you're watching give us... on there. Definitely. Hey. Please give us a like, subscribe, and a cheeky comment. If you want to predict by, by carrier pigeon, please do. I mean, we're, we're open to any, any kind of predictions. If someone has yeah. a carrier pigeon now, they're not going to know where to send it. So we're just, going to leave just send it the to... dress at the bottom here. <laughs> <laughs> send yeah, plenty of my, pigeons. I'll put my home address on here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so going on to uh, an interesting match next, we have Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss and Oscar versus Bailey Dakota Kai and Io Sky. Um, I have lost. Who should we get? I think it's me. Yeah, I, I'm back at the top of the yeah. card. So... I, as we mentioned, please check out our, our Clash of the Castle hype video because I, I went into this in more detail. But I believe Bailey, Dakota Kai, and EO Sky will get the win here. Um, they lost the tag title um, belt basically because of the other trio. So I think it 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 gives them more meaning to to win. Um, and I think it would be crazy to have them lose so early on. Uh, they've looked quite good so far, but the fact they've just lost uh, quite a big stakes match, I think it would be a shame for them to lose now. And it would really put them over to beat such a strong trio. And I don't think Be- Belair, Bliss and Oscar really gain anything by winning as a trio because they're not, they've just sort of been thrown together. Um, also gives it heat, hopefully going in towards Survivor Series. Uh, yeah, so I'm going with the heels, Bailey Dakota Kai and EO Sky to win. <coughs> Keeney? Um, yeah, I was, I was actually in my head just thinking about who I've gone to win. And I'm actually, I'm glad I went for Sheamus because I've gone for a lot of, I think I've gone for heels across the board to win so far. And I'm doing the same here, just yeah. FYI. I'm going for Dakota Bailey. Contro- oh, what's, what's her name, Fisher? Damage control. I think, Damage yeah, control. that's not an official yeah. name yet, but yeah. I, I think that's their name. Yeah. That's what I'm calling them. Damage control. Because, as you said, they have just lost the tag belts. And I think they are the focus at the moment, that team, to have them lose their first trios match or six person match um, would be weird. And it also just sets up where I think we're heading is Bailey and Bel Air. So it would only make sense if. Bailey got the up hand over Belair here in this six person tag. Um, the only, well, no, no, I guess I, the only other thing is we mentioned on the um hype video is Sasha and Naomi. And you, I guess you could have Bailey, uh, sorry, Belair's team win and then Sasha and Naomi come out at the end and confront and then you know, beat down and then. Yeah, you, know, you could do something like that. It's just one of those angles. If, but we like Fisher actually mentioned earlier, we can't have a turn or 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 a return or a turn after every match on this card, and we kind of mm-hmm. that's in our thoughts all the time. So here, I just think we're going to get the Hill team win, and I think we're going to build up to Bailey and Belair for the title. Um, so yeah. Good. That's my prediction. And Fish, have you got anything different? or uh... It's basically the same. I, I completely agree with everything you said. I think them losing on Raw was a massive thing. Like, surely they've got to win here. Like, Dakota, and they're not winning the tag title. Surely they're winning the big match here. Um, I think maybe Alexa will take the pin and then, but Bailey will probably get the pin and then use that as sort of a thing to, to go into Belair. I also think we didn't mention it on, we haven't mentioned it yet at all, but the, the trio of Belair, Asuka and um, Bliss actually got a win on Raw against three random jobbers, but they, they built oh, yeah. them up and gave yeah, them. That a was win. really random. I yeah. think they did that on purpose, though, so to give them a win as a trio here in the build up, and then they're going to lose. And like you said, Krusty, they're not really a trio, are they? They're three no. individual people that have come together. So I think um, we're going to get the heels win here. Um, should be an absolute banger of a match. After the match, I could see something happening like 
uh, a beat down from they win the match damage control maybe um then you get the saving from uh Raquel and Aaliyah because obviously the, the, there's a the feud there and that's when you might get Sasha and Naomi return and that leads to a big five on five match at Survivor Series that's that's my prediction is that match is going to happen but I don't know whether we'll we'll get that here and we'll get Sasha and Naomi in the UK um potentially or I I think the bigger shout actually maybe that happens on Smackdown because Raquel and Aaliyah are SmackDown stars and Sasha and Naomi were. So that could happen to SmackDown next week. Um, but I think that's where we're heading. So, And I think the best way to do that is have the Hills win here um, and then make them even stronger by having Sasha and Naomi come back as well. Good predding. So, Fish, carry on talking, my friends, because I want you to predict Liv Morgan versus Shayna Baszler. Okay. Um... Yeah, this is one where I'm like not 100% sure at all. Um, because Triple H loves Shayna Baszler, and I don't think the Liv Morgan title run has been has worked that well so far. I think the moment was cool. Um, but ever since the Ronda match at SummerSlam, I think it's been a bit botched. Um, in, to be honest, I don't think it's been booked that well. I think the crowd reaction to Liv isn't as good as it was. So Triple H might look at that and be like, do you know what? I'm going to put the, the money matches Ronda and Shayna. I'm going to put the title on Shayna. So it has made me think. However, I'm just going to go for the safer option and go the champ retains because... Ooh, I thought you were going to go Shayna Bay. No, yeah. I, I'm going to go Liv because Liv is the face. And I've got a, a bit like Keeney. I've got more heels to win. And I think Liv... I don't think... This, even though the title run's not been great. I don't think they should give up on it just yet. I think you have her go into Survivor Series as the champion. Maybe she'll lose it by the Royal Rumble uh, to either like a Ronda or a Charlotte probably. Um, and I do think we might see Ronda Rousey on this show after the match. Come, she'll probably come through the crowd because she's suspended still, isn't she? Which would be cool if she comes right past us. Like That'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to go for the champ to retain. Uh, I'm going to go very similar to you. Um, I'm a little bit more sure, I think, than than you are. I'm going for Liv Morgan to retain. I think Shayna hasn't had a big enough build as much as I think they've done okay with it. I I don't think she could carry the title. I, not yet. Um, I just don't think she's a big enough star. At least Liv had some momentum behind her. Yes, they've made a bit of a mess of it since, but I just don't think she could be champion. I think it would be quite wasted full of the belt. And I think she can go on to better and arguably bigger things when, as you mentioned, I think Ronda Rousey's either going to interfere in this or come out and cause a distraction um, to Shayna, and then we're going to get that Shayna versus Ronda feud. So yeah, pretty solid prediction from me of Liv Morgan to retain here. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm assuming I'm next, but my um, no. yeah, I <laughs> my, my, my prediction is fairly more cemented as well. I, I'm with Team Liv here. Um, I, I do think there is a possibility that they have changed their mind on Liv as champ because of how it's been received, and also. I think Fisher made a good point. The money match is Ronda v. Shayna. That's the money match. Not what's what's bigger than that that Liv can do for the title. There's nothing. So I don't think but, you need the title. Just chiming yeah, in there. No, no, you probably, you probably don't. But I just think Liv has an I think she deserves a bigger run. I think we need to give her a chance to to sort this out. Um and I mean, I think it could be another screwy finish, by the way. I think it could be uh another you know submission hold pinfall type thing wouldn't it surprise me yeah um because Liv's gonna get beaten up in this match and she's gonna win either by a roll up or something funny is she, she can't do that I, she, I mean she, I think you they can't do that yeah I I think it, they'd be better off having a win strong but I I, I don't know Again, realistically, I would like I would like to predict this after SmackDown, really, because yeah. I think SmackDown might give us a better indication of this one. But as we speak, Liv Morgan is my prediction to retain the title. Brilliant. 
And Keeney, would you like to kick us off with the main event? The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, versus Drew McIntyre, our very own Drew, for the Undisputed Universal Championship. Yes, I would love to. Um, This is a very hard... I mean, this, for me, is the hardest prediction to make because... (sighs) That you can you can make a great case of both of them winning. And I actually said earlier about Seamus and Drew. My point there was I don't think they can both lose, but I do think they can both win the belts. And I think there's a possibility we end the night with maybe Seamus comes out and we end the night with Seamus and Drew in the ring having a beer, both with their belts, having a great time with the crowd. And outside they send us all I'm happy. There's a potential they do that. Um so I am I am going for a new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. I think the it's too big a moment to not do it. If you if you're not going to do it now, then this is it. You've this, this this is the moment for Drew to win it. I I would be very intrigued if Roman wins what they have planned next for Drew because I I don't know what he could do after losing to Roman in his own well i say hometown he's from scotland and it's in wales so but it's you know it's, it's as close to home as, as can be so yeah i think and this is going to end the night and it's the first show in 30 years in the uk they're going to want a big moment i think this is the big man i think drew beats roman and ends his 200 day reign we've got a celebration on friday i just think everything's kind of aligned and i just think drew is going to win the belt. And I think Drew and Seamus are going to come out of this as champions. So that's my prediction. Drew McIntyre wins the title. Very good. Sir Fisher? Yeah. That image now, I can't get out of my head of Seamus and Drew winning the titles together and coming out at the end after the show goes off the air. That Mm. really, like, is a powerful image that I could see happening. And I've gone for Gunter to, to win. I'm going to go for the Trouble Chief to retain as well. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> um, I see. I want Drew to win, by the way. I just want to make that clear. I think I think they should go with the big moment. I think at the moment, there's no, there's no obvious person to put the belt on. Unless you turn Seth face, I think KO and Sammy are wrapped up in the Usos feud. I, don't, I think that takes them out of it. Cody's injury. Lashley's already got a title. Theory, for me, isn't the guy to, to take the belt off him. There isn't anyone else right now. But I just, I don't, I don't know. I've just got this feeling that the tribal chief rolls on for a little bit longer. Um, I think they're going to want to keep the titles on. I don't, the thing is as well, the Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn factor, and when that match happens, comes into this a little bit, because I think we're going to see basically the undoing of the bloodline slowly and surely the Usos might I think the Usos lose their titles first that pisses Roman off he goes off the rails he gets caught off guard gets pissed off of the Usos they don't help him and then he loses the title or something like that I can see happening I don't know who to right now it could even be Drew in another day although I think that'd be a waste of time but I just have this feeling that Roman somehow retains and he ends the show getting booed out of the building. The, the, he, the crowd have to acknowledge him, the Usos, maybe Sami Zayn's there, who knows. And Roman retains and goes on to survive a series where I don't know what's going to happen because normally they do the two top champions against each other. They've only got one champion. Um, but maybe, maybe this is where maybe you can do himself. a belt split. And he goes, after this defence... He dropped, he just like vacates the WWE title, and that's how they do it. And then they do a new tour- champion on Raw, and then they face Roman at Survivor Series or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what I'm not really sure of on my reasoning other than it's Roman. You don't back, you don't vote against Roman Reigns. That's basically my reasoning. I can't knock you for that. Can't knock you for that. Yeah, makes it interesting that you've gone for Roman though. So 
again, this is really difficult. Everything you both have said really does make sense. Um, I mean, every time I've gone against Roman Reigns, I've been stupid to do so. But I think the imagery of Drew in the middle of that ring after an absolute war, holding those championships high as close to home as possible in front of the home crowd, you just can't get rid of that I think he hasn't had his moment he carried the titles through COVID he never got that big massive moment in front of a major crowd I think he's owed that and I really do think he is owed that it's not often I'd say that but I think he is Mm. he did so well during the pandemic era his story is just amazing and if you don't get Drew to beat him who do you get to beat Roman Reigns touching on something that Fisher said of the undoing of the bloodline. I don't disagree. I think it'd be a good idea to have the Usos drop the belts first. I predicted it months ago that they were going to drop the belts and they just carried on. But I I think they're sowing the seeds for the bloodline to carry on and being relevant with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens without Roman necessarily having the titles. Maybe Roman's going to have some time off. Um, he has obviously cut back his hours sort of thinking outside of the ring uh, maybe he's, he's ready for some time off and I just don't think you can waste this opportunity I still think you may get Sheamus in the ring afterwards with Drew even if he hasn't won um, and that's a great way of pushing him face even if he comes out I just think you've got these great moments that could happen with Fury coming down attempting a cash in and Drew just overcoming all these obstacles the Usos come out bang he beats them mm. another thing Fury comes out bang he's beat him so he deserves that win he fights through everything and then still comes out victorious so we're thinking constantly oh my god he's going to lose now here come the Usos here comes Fury Paul Heyman's done something um i just think it would be wasted to not if and if he as you say keeney if he doesn't get it now that's it for drew but i think he's too big a star to not give it to him even if he carries it for not too long or splits the belt i just think it's a great opportunity but as fisher said you can't <laughs> you can't 100% rule out yeah. Roman Reigns retaining. Predicting a guy who's not lost for 200 days is not a bad prediction. Two, right? two years. Yeah. So yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah two years. Yeah, two years. Two years. Friday, which is, is insane. Insane. Um, I think so. um, you you said a fish about um the you, you see the Usos before losing it before Reigns. Yeah. I think. It will be a very interesting dynamic to the bloodline where Reigns isn't champ, but the Usos are. We, that would be. We have never seen that. I think that would be so interesting. I think that's the whole different um, dynamic that is just like, yeah. It, it would if they'd been teasing that, like the Usos want to be the, like, the power of it, if you know what I mean. But they haven't. And for me, like, there's an obvious that Sami Zayn and KO is the obvious thing now to happen. And I just yeah. think it makes sense to take the titles off them first. It would be a really interesting dynamic, though. I do agree with you, but I just I don't see them doing it. But if you still want WrestleMania to be The Rock versus Roman Reigns, this could be a real good angle that Roman has a bit of time off, then comes back and still tries to have the power. And it can be, well, you lost the titles. How have you? How do you still rule mm-hmm. over us? And then you go into that Rock feud of him coming in to say, look, you ain't. Can yeah. you smell what I'm cooking, or something like that? Um, I'm the real tribal chief. But yeah, I, I think this has been some interesting predictions because we've actually all gone relatively different. I don't yeah, think, I think any either of us have gone. I, I do think as well. There's also a factor of. I, I know we said like obviously you could have end the show with Roman standing tall, and we're wondering who who's next challenger is. There is a possibility we get someone come out at the end of the show, like a return or. The Rock. Like, something huge. Um, there is also, there's one person we haven't factored into this, and that's Karrion Cross. He could cost Good Drew point. the title. He could also, Drew could win the title and face Karrion Cross as his first challenger. That's I think that's what's possible. more likely to happen. Yeah, but um, there is a good believable. point. Karrion Cross could cross. Karrion Cross could Karrion cross. Karrion Cross could cross. Could cross Drew McIntyre. It could happen. I've, I've, I'd even thought, I forgot he was even employed. I forgot all about him. Karen Cross. There's also those weird 
the, the weird things going on on with the glove hand on the show the other week. People have mentioned a lot of people have mentioned the fiend coming back on the show. I don't see it yeah. happening personally. I don't know how it would work, but there's been lots uh, of hints, hasn't there? There's been lots of cryptic messages. I've seen on loads of rumors social media. about Bray Wyatt, but I just don't see it happening. And if it is Bray Wyatt, I don't think it'll be the fiend character. I think it'll be a different character. Um, I've seen other people mention Braun Strowman's been apparently like talked about coming back, but I just don't think he's big enough to come back in that spot at the moment. No. Um, I no. think people would be like, oh God, if he come back to challenge Roman Reigns. If he comes back, fair enough. But... You mean Drew? Or, or Drew, yeah. <laughs> either or, either or yeah. Whatever, whatever it is. Um, that could easily also be Tyson. I know you said, Kenny, you don't want him involved in the main event. I could see Tyson Fury's uh, involvement being somewhere in the main event. I, I do not want Tyson Fury involved here. I think he's going to come down but I don't think he's going to cost anybody. I don't think he's going to get the chance. To or catch. he confront if Drew wins, he could confront Drew after Drew afterwards. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see Tyson Fury in a title match. I, 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 I I'm not. I'm not wanting this to happen. <laughs> I'm just Tyson Fury and Drew could be a match they do. I, oh, Tyson I, I Fury! I thought you said. T- I thought. Uh, I thought. I was thinking a theory for some reason. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say you were thinking and, of Tyson Kidd. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back Tyson Kidd. He still works but, backstage. Yeah. He could come out. <laughs> Cheeky little appearance. So Ooh, there I we think, have it. Yeah, I think that is us, all of our preds. Um, like we've mentioned multiple times, check out our uh, Clash of the Castle hype. This isn't, this is the British video, uh, not a hype video, but we have hyped it. Imagine how fair, hyped a, the other video yeah, is. A fair bit on this as well, but yeah, check out our hype We're video. We're Mojo Rawley level, stay hyped. Yeah, we are. <laughs> but we're basically the hype bros. Um, follow us on twitter at recharge wrestle to get involved in our prediction league you've heard our predictions now go and predict yourself um, a chance to win a wrestling t-shirt of your choice at the end of the year uh, for the winner to prediction league it is not too late to enter there's there's people predict some shows not the others this is is there, there's there's still a chance to win and obviously one of us three can't win fun think, to join in anyway yeah i think me and crusty did the top um so one of us three can't win it so it's got to be a um a listener t-shirt. who wins yeah exactly um so get involved there if you are listening to this on podcast format and not on youtube uh or if you if you watch it on youtube and don't subscribe to us subscribe like comment check out all our content and this is the time to follow us because uh, on YouTube and Twitter, but, you know, we're going to have a lot of video content from Clash. Um, we're going to try and post it as it happens, a lot of it, but there'll be stuff coming out for days, weeks after Clash. It's going to be, we're going we're to have a lot of content. We're going to have a lot of phones on the go. I've got a power bank ready to charge phones up. We, we, we are prepared for video content. So uh, we're prepared for a big old Clash. Yeah, but we are going to, I'm going to, Cl- clash up our YouTube or I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going there. Um, but yeah, so follow us on Twitter. I've already said that. Follow us on YouTube, like, subscribe. Um, and as we said on the previous pod, if you are attending Clash at the Castle and want to chat wrestling, you know, if you see us guys around in our recharge wrestling shirts, let us know. We are more than happy to to chat wrestling with with any of you and um yeah, we just cannot wait. We are days away from it now and um so hyped. So uh that's it from us. We will be back next. We'll we'll probably, we'll, we'll be releasing a uh review show after the after the fact um over the weekend and then we'll be back with our regular scheduled programming next week where we review the week of wrestling. Um so do check that out as well. So we will see you next time guys. Goodbye. Hi, everyone.